All right, we are going to try with a different camera. This is a new camera uh, than what we've done the other videos on. I have the ball screws installed. And so we're gonna do a quick uh, overview of what I ran into, just some uh, information on that. So um, first off, um, what they don't have in the instructions online is disassembly as clearly as I would expect. Um, but what I did find is that take the time to completely tear this thing down. Um, tear apart, take out the jibs um, there, and uh, and then one up under there. Take that one out, this little guy. Um, and, what, and as far as coming up the whole disassembly process, I also found out if you take this one out first, um, when it comes to the part where you have to um, remove the table, um, if you take that jib out first, you can actually um, get manual focus going here. We go. You can actually remove the table without having to slide it off. So if you take that one out, uh, take that jib out, remove. Um, let's see if we can do this. Okay, and there's two set screws in there. There you can see one right in front of that ball screw. If you take that out and the one on the other side, loosen those, and that jib, you can actually tilt the table up from the front and lift it out uh, without having to do the whole end plate deal where you um, undo the end plates, undo the whole ball screw or the, the lead screw out of there and do all that to get this thing torn apart because you end up taking off the table and you take off the saddle, um, tear it all down, clean it up. So that's what I ran into, I found out, and it was worth it because this thing was, I hadn't cleaned it since I got it, um, so a year and a half, it's a little dirty. Um, the other thing to note though was in the installation of the Y-axis ball screw. Um, I ordered the long screws from CNC Fusion under the understanding that they were required for this unit. Now I don't know, haven't gotten a hold of them yet to find out, but the y-axis was actually about four tenths long, or four tenths of an inch, 400 thou long. Um, the x-axis was approximately um, 200 thou long. So to get it to fit right. So I ended up having to take this to a part, um, the whole ball screw assembly, put it in my lathe, carbide dueling, and I tell you what, that stuff is hard. Um, but I got it trimmed down, refitted, stop washer on there, um, then the x-axis, I took the uh, extra off of this end where the couplers are because it's a non-critical end um, essentially. You basically just continue back the shaft, um, cut back the shaft diameter a little farther so that the coupling sits back a little farther and then trim it off. Um, that worked. Um, it all fits together without binding. Um, I am finding out though that the um, thrust bearings on the other end of the x-axis not the greatest. I'm going to have to try to replace those I think. Something a little better. They just don't seem to run as smooth. There's also a lot of more backlash in these ball screws than I expected. So I ended up um, having to, or I think I'm going to have to end up having to get the ball screw um, preload kits or basically you put oversized ball screw balls in the ball screws and ball nuts in the ball nut I guess so um, on the z-axis it went in pretty much as um, as described um, there's a big bolt on the back side there's two that go in here um, there's actually four screws on the top now not just two so drilled those clear through put the nuts on the back I did not want to try to hand tap all four of those. Um, I was having trouble with the one and the depth. I just said, you know, forget it. Um, four screws are going to hold it plenty good. So got that all in. Um, but generally, except for those length issues, it went in pretty clean. Um, and I've run the Z axis once, just set up by itself. And if you happen to have noticed already, um, expect another video very shortly because I've got everything hooked up and we're going to run it and do the initial run, all three axes with the actual power supply, all three drivers, the nano board, which is running Garble 9, that little guy, that's it, that's all it takes, um, with a Pi 3 back here. Um, so yeah, 
that's what we're going to do here. So look forward to that next one.